Hi everyone, this is Dwayne Ali. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning Edge Pro. And today I am going to give you a walkthrough of a point of sale application for Mac and Windows, which I have built for specifically restaurants with tapping gestures, which we are going to create in .NET MOI, and is completely offline using SQLite database. This point of sale application can be used in any restaurants, cafe, superstores, bakeries, and etc. So without wasting any time. Let's dive into our Visual Studio and run the application. So I am in my project and we will run the project. Let's run it. So here's our project which I built for restaurant specifically. So this is the main interface of the project. These are the categories. These are the menu items which I have seen. Uh, if I click on the main course, you can see the menu items are changed. If we scroll down, you can see there are many menu items. These are the categories, snacks, desserts, fast food. You can select any of these. Uh, if I click any of these menu, like beer, chocolate, cocktail, and coffee. If I want to increase the quantity, I can also double tap the previously selected items like coffee. If I select the coffee next time so uh, my quantity will be updated so I can also update from here and also update from here as well like plus and minus will decrease the quantity so it's the remove button which will remove our item from the cart if I press this as you can see our menu item is now removed from the cart so this is the subtotal tax total amount banner you can see paid cash, paid online, and close button. So if I add more items like pizza slice, pizza, fast food, you can see our automatically our subtotal quantity and our price is getting changed. If I increase the quantity, you can see our price is now changed. This is the tax button. So if I click on the percentage, I can also set the tax percentage like what i want to use the text uh 13 percent i guess so click ok as you can see now our certain 13 percent tax is now applied to our subtotal amount 33.91 dollars and now it's converted after tax 38.32 so if i click on paid cash so as you can see our cart item is now refreshed and there's a toast message which says order placed successfully so if I come to my order item list, as you can see, these are the orders which I have generated from my interface main dashboard. So all of these orders are queued in this list. Okay, now I have refreshed my project. As you can see, our quantity is now updated 841 time, $33.91. The payment is by cash, six items, two items. So basically this is the overview of my project which I have built. So we will now onwards create this in .NET MOI using SQLite offline database and XAML pages. So that's it. I hope you like the video. In the more upcoming videos, I will show you my add-ons which I will give in my POS application. Like if I click on the orders page. So if I click on the number of items right now, it is not showing. So in the next video, I will show how my card items which I placed the order will pop up as soon as I click the items of any of these invoices. So I'll make the add-ons and let you know. So that's it. I hope you like the video. For more upcoming videos, kindly press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss an update. Thanks for watching.